What's up YouTube and welcome to the middle part of my advanced guide to Dark Souls. Now if you have no concern in having the kiln of the first flame open for PvP, you might want to stop after this episode. The first thing you should do regardless of stopping is place the Lord Vessel through King Seeker Fram. When you place the vessel, you will have opened up the Lord Soul areas and enabled them for invasions. However, you will need to pass through the prison area of Duke's Archives in order to be invaded there, and you will also need to open the floodgates in New Londo before you can be invaded there. You can still invade in these areas without doing these tasks, however. So let's go over what we have open so far, shall we? I'm not including the DLC just yet. So far we have the Undead Burg, the Lower Undead Burg, where the Capra Demon is, we have the Depths, we have the Moonlight Butterfly Forest, you can also go to Andre of Astora and buy the Crest of Artorias and you will have the most popular PvP area open, the Forest. You also have Anor Londo open, after killing the Princess Lady. You have the Duke's Archives open, you have the Catacombs open, you have the New Londo Ruins open, and you have the Demon Ruins open. So you have many, many, many areas open to PvP, except for maybe Sen's Fortress, and select other ones. Uh, if you would like to do the DLC, however, that will be in another episode, so I will see you guys later.